Is something in there? Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching Season 4, Episode 7 of The Expanse. Today's episode is called A Shot in the Dark. And I'm very, very excited about this episode. But first, we need to just draw your attention to something on it. This is my Valentine's Day present from Mrs. Script tonight. How awesome is she? Okay, so back to the show. Everything is wrong everywhere. Uh, apart from really with Bobby, she's working with Issei Martin and they kind of impressed me, I have to be honest. When Bobby was stuck running out of there, I genuinely thought the group would all be gone and she was going to wake up in jail and instead they actually got her and she seems to have actually kind of earned her place in the group so that's ended up going quite a different way than I imagined it at the, at the minute. On Illus about everything that could go wrong is currently going wrong. Everything. We had a plague of locusts, then the artifacts started coming to life, then the islands started heating up, then one of the islands exploded in a thermonuclear explosion that was like bigger than a 50 nuclear bombs going off at the same time. It's just absolutely enormous amount of energy that that produced. So that split off in various ways. Firstly, there was a shockwave that went right through the earth and that created like a little earthquake in the Illus camp about an hour after things. Then about like seven hours after that, there's a massive like windstorm basically like the shock wave that had gone around the earth at the, the speed of sound that had 200 kilometer an hour winds so I had to get through that and then right behind that by about seven hours is a massive tidal wave like a giant great big tsunami which looks like it's going to cover about a third of the continent i think they said so problems we have got problems now to get around that we've all decided first of all, to get off the planet. But thanks to the protein molecule, it turns out that the ships at fusion reactors are no longer operating. So the rules of... <laughs> so now you have the Edward Israel, the Barber Piccola, and the Rosinante just floating in space, waiting to run out of batteries, unless we find a way around this. So that's a crisis. But I think the, the crisis is most urgent for the Barber Piccola because they said it's not like fit for atmosphere or something. Which basically it's it's flying very low. It will normally use its thrusters to kind of pull up out of the atmosphere. It has no thrusters. So I'm guessing it's like basically just going to fall from the sky at, at some point. But we don't know when. Glorious. So the next plan is to go into the art, into the kind of ruins. But of course we don't know how the ruins work and we know that this thing can come to life at any point and do pretty much anything so i'm kind of waiting for it to turn into a ship at this point and take off into into the sky we've got the issue of green eye we have one of murtry's people we have um lv and we have the little boy so three people at least are infected with green eye inside that ruin what's going to become of that we also have murtry on, on his continued killing mission He's already done the math and figured out there's a lot of bodies, there aren't many supplies, and he wants to make sure that basically his people are the last people standing, whatever it takes. Typical Mercury, always a team player. So, um, and Vassarala is just getting her ass kicked back on earth, really. It's not about whether she's right or wrong, whether she's got good intentions, she's just losing. Um, she's really losing the argument, so it's going to be interesting to see how she deals with that. Without further ado, let's have at it. Oh, the melting moon. I forgot about the melting moon. Whoa! Oh, is that more? Yeah. That green eyes getting around. Oh, shit. Stop. There's enough for all of us. Don't be a dick. Scopes are still showing an ocean sitting on top of you. Nowhere at all for us to go. 
Not for a couple of days at least. Sounds like we're gonna be down here for a while then. Any progress getting the drive back online? No. Fusion doesn't work here anymore. Fucking Miller. <laughs> How long will the reserves last? Us and the Edward Israel can maintain orbit for months on batteries, but I run the calculations on the Bob's orbital decay rate. Based on the ship's current altitude, speed, and power reserves, they have maybe a few more days before they fall out of orbit. Fuck. I need to come up with something fast. We only have enough water purification tablets to last a day, maybe two. We need to figure out a way to send down a resupply. You saw what happened to the RCE shuttle. Parachuting supplies might be an option, mm -hmm. but we still won't be able to get to anything until the water recedes. Listen, I'm doing everything I can. So we're all just still at the mercy of you and your invisible friend. Yeah, sadly, that is actually accurate. Is something in there? You said you started noticing these spots about an hour oh, ago? Oh god, yes. Shit. It's in both eyes? It's worse in my left eye, but there's some in my right eye as well. My wife's a medtech. It's some kind of outbreak. I wouldn't call it that. It's more like an allergic reaction of some kind. Antihistamine compound should clear it up. But I, I need to check everyone first to be sure. Just sit tight. Bounties are going to run out of food before us, and when they do, they're going to act desperate, so we need to be ready. We're outnumbered, and our tactical advantages are diminished down here. There's a fight coming, but let them bring it to us. If everyone keeps their heads, we'll all make it out of here. You know what to do. Go do it. Shit. Pause. So this is definitely, this green eye is definitely an outbreak. I don't think an antihistamine is going to be solving that anytime soon. And I'm just wondering what the cause is. Like, was it in the water? Is it protein molecule related? Is it just an infection? It's interesting to see how quickly things have developed. We've now got several of the RC people, a whole bunch of battles with it. Um, I'm surprised that Elvis hasn't advanced. So did she cure herself? Did it not fully take hold or is it just not fully taken hold of her yet? I don't quite understand what the progress of this um, thing is. But the last time we saw Elvie, she was itching her eye and she saw that it was there. And we hadn't seen that on some of the other characters that have now got it. So I'm wondering if maybe she's resistant to it. But we shall see. I really feel like something is going to go on inside those ruins. The We had that effect when Jim was looking in last episode. It looked like someone was looking out. Um... And Jim is still a bit twitchy and sort of sensing that there's sort of a, maybe a consciousness there that he's picking up on. So I'm really kind of excited to see what happens there. But I, I just, I got a bat. I, it's all going to go tits up. I know it. Play. Two days. Fuck. That's it. The Bob has maybe a day of battery power left. What else can we do? Here. This perimeter of moons is the boundary for this fusion shutdown. We just... Well, no, until we are outside of them. Is that what we're heading? No, yet. Only as a last resort. What do you mean, last resort? The Bob won't make it that far. Shit. Back to Look, if we got it. We're gonna offload your daughter and everyone else onto the Rossi. All right. Nobody on the Bob is gonna go down with that shit. If we lose the lithium ore that we mine, we may as well be dead. I have nothing left. Oh God. On our way to rebuild the colony. Please, there has to be something else. You can't end like this. I know. And we're doing everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. We have a peace agreement with the OPA. And I put my trust in our new uh -oh. allies to provide justice for the victims of the hijacking. The OPA leadership failed me. And I, in turn, failed the people of this planet by not putting a high enough priority on bringing these terrorists to justice. <laughs> I sound incompetent. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking vote for me. You did the right thing addressing this head on, ma'am. This is head on? With someone's head on a spike is how I should have addressed oh, it. Oh, God. 
We couldn't wait to comment on the incident until we had someone in custody, not after the way the debate ended. So instead, you had me sit there with my tits hanging out, blabbing for 15 minutes, saying, trust me, I am not always a fuck up. I thought you came across as honest and open, ma'am. Do you know who else is honest and open? The person who says nothing when nobody asks a fucking question! We just got the new poll numbers. Gao is within three points. It could have been a lot worse. Get the fuck out. Both of you. Oh, shit. That's not good. Firing them this close to the election will only do more harm. To whom? What was I thinking? It would have been better not to say anything. Mm. I think you're overreacting. Of course I am. I should have trusted my judgment. You were honest with the people. There's no bad judgment there. F fucking stop it! If I did the right thing, then why is Nancy fucking Gao mm. within three fucking points? I think your advisors were right. Oh, I see. So when there's another heiress and our planet is burning, at least we did the right thing. I don't like to see you like this. You wanted to be a part of this campaign. You're right. I did. Now we know I'm not infallible. It appears Marco has a very loyal following amongst his people. But his group's politics and independent way of operating have proved divisive even amongst other OPA factions. We've been digging into Marco's whereabouts, and a deep cover asset in the belt intercepted this broadcast. This was taken days ago aboard the Pazuza, a belter freighter out of Palace Station. With the cooperation of the governor of Ceres, we renditioned a known associate of Marco to a black site to confirm the ID. I knew it. But none of your assets witnessed him actually board the ship. No, but as I said, our confidence oh, is not oh, shit. Assuming he's still on the ship. What are our options? <clears throat> the UNN Raskolnikov is the closest battleship in the freighter's AO. On your order, the Raskolnikov can destroy the freighter with a missile strike in a matter of minutes. Marco and everyone else on board will be eliminated. There better be another option. A tactical marine strike. Raskolnikov will fire a precision railgun shot in order to take out the ship's drive. Then a marine insertion team and a breaching pod will board and take the ship. If we could put this terrorist on trial, we could make an example out of him for any other no! belters looking to prey upon the colony ships at the blockade. Keep monitoring the freighter. General, move your team into position and notify me when they're ready. Yes, ma'am. I'll make my decision then. Ah, oh, fuck. It's a trap! Pause. I think this is Marco's whole plan. I really do. And that means he would bear also responsibility for the people who die in this, by the way. But Jesus wept. Oh, I've got an awful feeling that they, whatever they do, they would have broken their oath, um, their, like, their word, as Marco said, and then Marco's going to come in and, I guess, give his big pitch then. Oh, this is not going to be good. I really don't think he's on that ship. Play. It's going to be a lot shorter for all of us if people begin to starve. I understand that, which is why we all need to get out of here as soon as possible. In light of your recent confession and the fusion problem, all our priorities have changed. Bullshit! Nobody wins if we all die. It's not up to me. Unless Miller comes back, I don't think there's anything I can do. Mr. Holden, good, you're both here. I have bad news. Greener. I've examined nearly everyone here. We are all infected. Uh, I still need to check you, sit down. You told me it was an allergy. That's what I've been telling everyone. I, I don't want to start a panic. Oh, he's got it too. The truth is, single cell microorganisms native to this planet are making a home in our eyes. They're not 
stop hijacking our cells like a virus would. Lots of little green babies filling up the space. So the, oh, they're, they're eating away at our eyes. Yes, they probably will end up eating away at our eyes. So what can you do? Right now, nothing. Hmm. Let me try again. He doesn't have it. So how long until people start going blind? They already are. I can't be sure until we all lose sight, but maybe a day. Oh, a day. Oh, me. That flood probably acted like a great big exposure event. Also, we're all living in each other's pockets, oh, so God. everything is going to spread more easily. You don't seem to be infected. Everyone's infected. But him. <laughs> this maybe have something to do with your alien ghost friend? It couldn't. It's only a transmission in my head. I need a blood sample from him. Doctor, I think it goes without saying that curing this is our main priority now. Huh? All of our safety depends on it. <laughs> I'll do everything I can. Oh, no tree seen in green. Shit. Oh, no. Why are you sitting all by yourself? Me dad went looking for me, Mum. They never came back. Your parents made sure you made it, though. Yeah, I guess so. That was their job, to protect you, to make sure that you're safe. What happened to your eyes? Green stuff got in them. Yeah, I've been seeing green spots too. I don't like it. Hey, you see that pretty lady over there? No, right there. Everything's green. Don't worry. I'll see for the both of us. Uh oh. Oh no. Fucking thief! He not do nothing! He tried to steal our water! I'm going to get my own water! You fucking liar! Stand down! What? He was trying to steal Stand the fuck down! Get back to your post, that's an order! Go! What fucking pricks? At some point, you know, we're gonna have to kill some of these people. And things like this, that's what always happens. Oh, God. You're all gonna be blind before you're gonna be fighting out. This is a fucking mess. Oh, my God, look at it. Is this the Barbara Piccola? You ever been in the guts of a ship like this before? Not a working one. Trust me, this is a better education mm -hmm. than any university could give you. What's so funny? You sound like my mother. <laughs> well, she's right. For what it's worth, my mother hates herself for what she did. I don't believe she ever wanted to hurt anyone. Your mother's been caring for you even since before you were born. She wants you to go and chase your dreams. That's all any mother ever wants. Are she scared that you'll make a mistake? Do something you'll regret. She won't be able to protect you. None of that really matters anymore. Hurts. When people realize they can't see anymore, saying keep calm and carry on is probably not going to be enough. You don't think you'll find a treatment before then? Not unless I can find the reason that you seem to be immune. Well, not everybody got the plague. Not everybody talks to an alien. Going blind doesn't sound as bad anymore. You make it sound like a burden. You're being given knowledge and answers that humans have only dreamt about. I've also been given horrific nightmares, mm. visions of death I can never unsee. To me, that sounds like an acceptable trade-off. <laughs> I've traveled billions of kilometers to be the first exobiologist to study the most basic forms of extraterrestrial life. And you, on the other hand, 
are the only person in human history with a direct line of communication to an advanced alien species, and you're annoyed? It's not the same when you don't have the choice. Yeah. Any scientist would kill to change places with you. I know I would. Don't, though. Don't. 